Alexa, good morning. Good morning. It's take your dog to work day. Should be a rough day at the office. Rough, rough. Good morning. Got a little bit of work to do <clears throat> to finish up. And then I'm going to take this camera, the Olympus SP720UZ, put it on the tripod, take it out, go for a little walk in my neighborhood, and get some photos and some video, and pretty much put it to a test on the tripod. So, anyways. Let's take a look at the results right now. So I just finished editing all those those few clips that I took with the camera, some still pictures, and then a little bit of video, and a still picture, a little bit of video. I bought this on Amazon a while back. I paid $130 for it, and it's the first time I've been misled by reviews. The reviews were pretty good for it on Amazon, and I went to YouTube and there weren't very many reviews on this camera maybe it's outdated or something but when I say reviews what they really there were a lot of clips or a few clips up there video clips and the only thing I can figure is the people that did these video clips that looked good they must have uh, gone through a few and found you know found them that, that were really good because as I said, I use this on a tripod and everything else. This is not a vlogging camera. It's not something that you can depend on to go out and do videos and know you're going to get a good shot. Uh, zoom in on something. Zoom is just horrible. I, I, you know, it just is bad. And uh, <laughs> with the specs of this camera and everything, I really expected more out of it. Um, I also spent like about thirty dollars for a, a, a charger and some extra batteries um, and a couple you know little accessories for it my fault 
but I thought I, I had a camera I was going to really be able to, I thought I had a workhorse. Well, it has some good attributes. It does take a good picture, and if you're very patient with it, you can get decent video out of it. And uh, I really like the design about it. I like uh, the features and all that. I, I, I like the camera. Uh, as far as uh, the looks and the feel and the holding and the uh, user friendliness of it. The quality of obviously video, you know, if you took four videos, maybe one of them would be something that I would actually use. Uh, so, uh, would I buy it again knowing what I know now? Yes and no. No, I wouldn't buy it for using it and everything else. But yes, which for something I'm not going to get into today, but because of this camera, something happened while I was out that I will talk to you tomorrow. It has nothing to do with the quality or, or anything about the camera, but it, it did something that I think is going to make it completely worth having spent the money on it. <laughs> and as I said, I'll mention that tomorrow. Um, so yeah, so 130 bucks, I, when, I didn't realize how much was spent in order to get a really good camera, how much money you would have to spend. Um, I spent twice as much to get my Canon, uh, what is it, Elf 450, uh, point and shoot type camera, and it does 10 times the job. So, you know, if that's relative. So anyways, um, that's all I'm going to talk about today. I just want to talk about this camera. I wanted to give it one more try because I had already known. I already knew it didn't work good in low light. I already knew that you can't hold it, you know, uh, and get a good shot. Um, but even on a tripod, I was really hoping, even on the pictures of that, uh, the street sign, I had one picture where I, I didn't do anything but take the picture. The other one I zoomed in a little bit. Not, not all the way, maybe half, halfway of the optical zoom. And it was blurry. And um, so, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> I really don't, you know. Other than it takes a pretty darn good picture in good lighting uh, without using the zoom. So, there you have it. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Be strong. Be happy. Even if you spend money on a camera that doesn't meet your expectations. And be a good neighbor. Bye bye.